Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I am going to show you how you can connect Databricks SQL Editor with DB Viewer. And then why it is required is, if you are working with Databricks and want a more user-friendly SQL client, DB Viewer is a fantastic choice. First of all, why we need to connect DB Viewer with the Databricks SQL Editor. So, DB Viewer is a open source SQL client that makes querying Database is simple and efficient. It supports various databases including Databricks through JDBC and using Dreamweaver can help you visualize and manage data better and I will show you how you can set up it. So you, you already have your Databricks account created and I will show you if you open this query editor your, your page will be open like this and if you see here Databricks inside default there is no table. So let me first create table. Okay, I'm creating table right now. So right now I will use my cluster. So let me use data delta frog SQL server so that I will use to run this query. So whenever you are running the query internally it will run on your machine. So this machine is nothing but the uh, that you have to create it from here. You can come to the SQL warehouse. And you can create one so similarly if you not create it by, by default it will create automatically and if you want to create and uh, want to distribute the workload per cluster you want to work to distribute your workload per query and you want some query will run on particular server and some query will if, if some query is taking more time you want to, to create extra large cluster for that you can do that one so that's what if you go to here create SQL cluster you can create cluster of your choice based on your data and based on your query you can create your so for testing purpose I just created one delta frog SQL server and this is the uh, extra large and this is also serverless I have already started this one if it is uh, off you can start it again okay that's fine so I already have uh, SQL server up and running fine so I'll come to SQL editor and I will choose I will choose this server okay data frog SQL server and I will run this query even though I feel this SQL editor also very good you don't need to connect using Databricks uh, you don't need to connect using DB Weaver but sometimes you need to know how to to connect if you if you didn't get the access to this uh, SQL editor and you want to to connect and sometimes there is a no more tab here if you see each query will run and execute here let's suppose I will run here insert query okay so there is only one tab right now there is no support to open the different different tab here so I will show you what benefit you will get if you connect to the DB Weaver DB Weaver is the just I already told this is the more uh, fast tool, this is the open source SQL client and that can connect to the JDBC using, using JDBC you can connect to the various sources ok see here there is only one tab ok now if you want to run some more query here so this previous previous output will be erased and new output will come so you don't you will not able to see the let's suppose I want to insert one more data okay mm, two and submit okay and insert it insert it or maybe you have some different different even though you can create one new separate tab what I want to tell I will tell you now okay now see the previous output got raised again if you select sometime what you need is uh, you need better visualization you you want your previous output also should be visible in your tab so that you can compare the previous output and current output even though you can create one more uh, query string here and you can achieve it but it is uh, it is not convenient still it is growing this uh, SQL, SQL editor is also growing and sometimes you may not get access as well you may not get access to this SQL editor 
so how you will connect to directly to the databricks so that's what i will tell you so whether you are using or not you you should always know how to work how the database connection works sometime you need to you you need to create this table create the table and do some uh, processing using java or using python or using some api call so you don't have to come here and manually write the code this is just for testing purpose okay so if you want to optim you want to automatically run the query so that time you need to know how you can connect using the api so that's what or jdbc that's what uh, i will tell you now so this this is up and running fine with things up so we have already created the table and we are having the insert data and uh, we are having the test table here and data is all, also there so i'll come here come to sql warehouse click on your cluster and check here connection detail if you see it's already very well documented if you come to the python you can see the code and you can see this step also how you can run using python code if you want to connect to the sql uh, server you want to run some co query using python you can do it okay this is also very good you can generate the token from here but right now what i want i want to connect using uh, jdbc okay i already have db installed okay this is db uh, installed so for that we need one personal token so click on personal token here generate token i uh, will just name it sql warehouse okay lifetime span whatever you want you can keep and generate it and save it because it will you won't be able to see after once it will close so i, I copied it click on done okay now now what i will do is i will just save that for time being okay this is my token i saved it here and then and then again i will go to sql warehouse open this one because i need the connection details so this is the connection detail okay just copy this connection detail and come to your dweaver click on connection and uh, new database search for databricks see azure databricks click on azure databricks next and you have to give here jdbc url okay and then after that along with that you need to give along with that you have to, to provide your token because i don't want to use uh, username password you have to, to provide the token so provide the token using uid and then equal to and type here this type token okay because the uid is token type and what is the password here you write pwd password and then you have to, to type the your personalized token okay paste it that's all now you can test the connection see test connection is working fine okay and then you can give just connection detail keep it as your data bricks or if you want some i want to keep like delta delta frog data bricks Databricks or you can databricks dev because this is development just finish it okay now you can see what you will see the replica of your SQL editor that you are seeing in your databricks here okay come to your SQL editor whatever work you want to see whatever work you want to do it from escalator you can do it also from dweaver and this is more uh, more efficient and more convenient as if you're working in in um, because this is very old tool and people are uh, many people are uh, convenient many people are feel easy to use dweaver and also there are many functionality that you cannot do it from sql editor from databricks okay so this is how you can connect now if you want to run some query open the sql editor here okay and then just select start from test 
Okay. See this output. I want to see the other output as well. So just click here. You will see the result to one here, result to here. So this functionality is not still available on your escalator. Okay, and also there are many other functionality that is not still available on your SQL editor from Databricks UI so that you can use dbweaver and it's very easy to connect from dbweaver and use it okay so that's all for this video I just want to show you how you can connect SQL editor Databricks SQL editor from dbweaver so that's all thank you very much